uh, good morning. They were, it would be number 39 on the Wales Coastal Path today, day nine, last day. St. Anne's Head to Milford Haven. Just making myself a cup of tea before getting out of the tent. Nice and early, slept well, set up, all good. Nice little hack there. Use my um, waterproof jacket to put on the end of my sleeping bag so the down doesn't get wet with the condensation. And that's a hack I invented myself. I have not seen that one on YouTube. Here we go. Dale in about three miles for a nice cup of coffee and brekkie. This car came down last night, it passed me last night and it's been here since. Just off the trail. All good. First sign on the road I've seen. Now the high tide is in at 11 o'clock in Dale now and um, Sandy Haven. So um, if I was going to walk along this um, boarding here, it would have to be about half past one, two o'clock, which would leave me too many miles to go to Milford Haven for my bus back to Fishgad. I'm staying in Fishgad in my friends tonight. So I'm going to have to do the long walk round, but Instead of coming back along this coast, I'm going to carry on through St. Ishmael's <coughs> and then back down to Sandy Haven for about half past one where I should be able to cross the stepping stones. So I'll be missing this part out. But I'll still walk all the way to Milford Haven. Walking along a country road now. And there's a cafe in Dale. I'm just hoping and praying that they do a lovely full English. Do a lovely change. And of course, I've got plenty of time. If I want to try and get over them stones. Sandy Haven, I don't need to be there until about half past one, two o'clock, and that's gonna leave me another four miles to get to Milford Haven. I got lucky last night with that camping spot, very lucky. Um, there hasn't been much between there and here now today. Nice, I slept well. My gear is brilliant. Good balance between weight and comfort and practicality. Very pleased. This rucksack on my back will be my rucksack now for the foreseeable future. And should anything happen to this one, I'll get another one the same from America. Got some gear, brilliant. Won't have anything else now.
That was just what the doctor ordered, as it were. First hot meal I've had, except them lovely chips in St. David's on Saturday night. I forgot to put the Camus tap on when I started this morning. So I was going to read 11 miles or so from here to Wilford Haven. It's been about two and a half miles from where my uh, Royal Camp was last night to here. Dale done understood. Heard so much about the place. <clears throat> one pub and one cafe. Yo, man! Lime kills once again. That's the crossing there, and I'm not too far. I'll go down for a gander. High tide is in about 20 minutes, so I just come back. Doesn't matter, I've got time. The crossing is that narrow part over there. I'm just wondering if it's possible, if it's um, if the plank is visible, to take my um, shoes and socks off. That's the reasoning behind my walk here, really. Thanks very much. You're Cheers. Enjoy your day. Thanks. I made it. There was a little bit of a gap there between the boards. Handy. This rucksack is absolutely brilliant, fair play. So practical. That one there, big side pockets for the tent. And he was a local gentleman, so he knew I'd be okay. It's about um, half an hour now to high tide, and it's coming in. Um, nothing much changes, just the fact that I don't have to walk uh, through um, St. Ishmael. I can carry on now along the official path. But I'll probably be waiting in um, Sandy Haven for a while for the tide to go back out. Worked out very well. All I need now after that breakfast is a cheeky poo. All good in the hood. That's if you don't take your shoes off. High tide is around now. And I crossed about a quarter of an hour ago. Dale across the estuary. Someone here with a, a little bit of initiative put a seat bolted to a tree and an unopened can of Stella looks as if it's been there for years. There's only one the bungalow for me. And that's on the Isle of Man, TT Reese's. That's where I had my breakfast. Pretty average ingredients, in all honesty. I wonder if this place used to be a monastery.
This is the deepest channel in the British Isles, I think. That's why they chose uh, Milford Haven and Pembroke over the ports for the oil refineries back in the day. Just here by itself, no explanation. That's where I camped last night by them three pillars behind that big one in the foreground. Watch how spare. That could have been a watch house. For what? I wouldn't know. I wonder what these could be. Oil tanker radar. Before modern technology kicked in. There's one coming in there. I've just been speaking to a gentleman now. And he's saying it's a plank in Sandy Haven, uh, not stepping stones, which I was led to believe. It's brilliant when things go well for you. It's even gone better than according to plan today, with that gentleman being there when I was there and him being local and him being willing to help me and keeping an eye on me and he threw a ball he did over to the other side to show me how deep he was when his dog went through the water so lucky I'll probably have to wait a little bit here now for the tide to go out, but I've only got four miles after this crossing. This is the little crossing that's submerged now. I don't know if uh, you can pick up the little uh, wooden boards there. It's been two and a half hours now since high tide. I'll get my boots off and my flip flops on ready. Yeah, we've well, certainly had a pretty good this week, hasn't it? I'll be lucky, I'll be very lucky. Yeah. They had the rain one day. here about an hour all in now after waiting for that to go down I went in without my pack first to have a test it was too deep but I got across proper bloggers would have filmed themselves going over that now but sort that for me that's not for me I do these for myself and anybody else who wants to watch them all well and good now I don't know which way I'm going now. I met the lady of that couple yesterday by the stone.
good mile to go now absolutely fantastic nine days everything gone according to plan which cannot be given for granted really you can always fall and injure yourself or encounter bad weather to mess things up but it's been brilliant today i've been lucky today nice breakfast this morning plus the bonus of being able to go over that little causeway marvellous I'm trying to push myself now into Milford Haven to try and catch the bus to Haverford West so I can have an hour in spoons before I catch my other bus to Fishgad yeah so brilliant in hindsight, I could have filmed uh, myself crossing through that river, wading through that river in my um, flip-flops, but I put everything away and I used my sticks, just in case. What's the point of trying to be too clever? I'm regretting it a little bit, but there we are. Better safe than sorry. Story of the day, 10.9 plus the 2.5, which I forgot to um, start in the wild camping spot. So 13 and a half. Near enough. 